That was a lot. My, my, my superpower ran out before I finished my combo. <laughs> that was amazing. If you don't kill those guys, you have to in this screen, otherwise you can't continue. Yeah, that beat up and throw you down a hole. How awesome was that? Anyway, yeah, if you didn't beat those zombies in that last screen, you'd have to fight them to get past them to this screen. And more zombies. Who I will headbutt. Yes, Scott, put the, put the thing that they want to eat forward when you're running toward them. Yes. Great idea. They lose brain goo, though, when you punch them. Ah, stop it with the blocking! Is there a no- is there a no- No block mode we could do? Looks like we're- Er, uh, you! Nega Scott! Um, now, Nega Scott is Scott's, uh, disbelief in himself, and there's bad memory and everything, all those bad things is Nega Scott. He's the opposite of Scott Pilgrim. As you saw, he's negative awesome. And he flying kicks you. A lot. A lot, a lot like Liu Kang, actually. And he does his usual Scott moves, the, the punching combo, the flying... I, I think he does like a, I think he does the headbutt, the running headbutt thing, too. He headbutts me there. That's close enough, right? And apparently I can't stun him. No, no, I can. And I can kill him, too. And I failed to kick him in the midair. But it's alright, I already beat him. And he vanishes, thus giving Scott his confidence. Then letting him go pursue the last X, who... He actually uh, didn't up until he had to beat his own self doubt in Mega Scott. Comic book trivia that no one cares about. But Scott and Kim weren't there in the comic. And we see all the X's in the clouds who I've beaten up. And then we see the last one Gideon Gordon Graves. We will beat you, Gideon. We will. So, we finished the park, so let's head to the Chaos Theater Elevator. Why an elevator? Whatever. Gideon's last stand. Yeah, that's his last stand. He's the last boss. Better be his last stand. I ain't fighting him again. Oh. Yeah. Now, the elevator scene is timed. If you don't finish the whatever amount of floors there are in the time period, you will probably die. I don't, I don't know. I've never... Stop throwing things into yourself. It's a running trend of this set so far. Now, the way you do here is you have to take out these little thingies. The little, like, locker mechanism doodads. I can't think of a good name for them. You me the metal arm things that lock the platform in place. And you get to continue downward. And that was easy. And if you clear the if you clear the guys out, the elevator moves faster, giving you a lot more time effectively because you have because you've moved a lot farther ahead. Now, yeah, this part can be kind of tricky because you do need to like beat these encounters quickly. I mean, go right ahead, dude. Keep 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 beating up the arm thing for me. Thanks, loser. Knives, you were useless. Upper special thing, you're not useless. And you can't push, push him off the edge. Look, look, I did that guy. It's the easiest way to kill them. It's the easiest way to kill these guys, actually. Just to push them off the edge. Unless you have multiple enemies, then it gets kind of tricky. There. Uh, I got that money. We are gonna need some money. You, probably, you guys are probably asking yourselves, why do you need money? This is the last level. Well, to heal myself before I fight the final boss. Because I need it. What's it this time? Oh, just more dudes. With weapons this time. Oh, noes. 
dudes with weapons who will combo me when I pick up a weapon. Jerk. Take this. Okay, I won't take the bat. There. No one can have the bat now. Jerks. Just wanted a bat to beat you with. What is it? Uh, balls! I knew one of these had balls. I did so well, too, with dodging the balls. Oh my god, the lots of dudes. <laughs> he ran off the cliff. Moron. Oh no, fans! <laughs> who all run off the who all run off a cliff? <laughs> yeah, not gonna, not gonna need that anyway. Yeah, if you have, if you have a weapon coming into here, you lose it. Pretty sure you do anyway. I never have a weapon at that point anyway. Anyway, the pleasure palace, and oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> He's big. This is this. Oh, he does that too. And while he's doing that attack, he's invincible. He's obnoxious. And, uh, meteors. How is he using meteor? Inside a club. And why is Mrs. Chow here? But I can't grapple punch him. And now he's. Now he's. Now he's invincible. Nothing I can do can hurt him. It, okay. It wears off, though. That was a pretty uh, close one. I almost got hit there if I wasn't invincible from being knocked down. Okay, what the hell? Question mark is right. Now. Well, you are in the subs you are in this subspace highway. Those red blobs will hurt us if we're in the platform where they are. At the the block where they fall. Now I try not to uh be in the same block. What what the brains with Cthulian mouthpieces. Gideon. That sword up there is the power of love, the sword that Scott would have gotten from falling off a cliff, from getting, from beating Roxanne. <clears throat> but we get it here now, and it makes this next fight really uh, tolerable. <laughs> Cause oh my god, uh, he's he's unbeatable. Look at his powers. Ow. Now the power of love is a ranged is a ranged attack. It makes fighting Gideon in this form quite easy, actually. Basically just zap. Basically just shoot hit him. All the X's that are on his glob globulous body, I guess. Die, and it's time to fight him. With lightning. And new strategy is required for fighting with lightning. Now. Okay, avoid the red skulls, gotcha. Ow. Now, it's pretty easy for this form, too. Just have to make sure he's up up toward the platform, you can slash him. Unless you do that. Uh, if you fall off the cliff while you have the, sort, the power of love, you lose it for the remainder of the fight. And that was my carried item. I used it to recover a hundred health when I was, like, dead. Now I gotta beat getting up with our fists now, because... Can't do it any other way. Ah, let's do it this way. Let's see how well this works. Ow. As well as a punch to the face can, I guess. Ow. 
Gideon is super cheap. That punch, he can, he can, he'll actually stalk you. Like, 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 like after you die, or you like fall off a cliff. He'll stalk you and wait for you to stand up, and then as soon as you stand up, he will punch. That punch is unblockable. And he will just wait for you to stand up in order to punch you off the cliff again. If you move like this and don't do that. That's what happens when you die. You uh, have to mash the square button to avoid to break your stun. And God, stop falling off the cliff, Scott. <sighs> I hate Gideon. I hate him a lot. Yeah, you have to. You get up, you lose like 50 guts. You gain some health. Those skulls are unblockable. And I can't jump off the cliff to hurt him because I will die if I do that. Okay, fists not doing damage. Not doing enough damage, I should say. If you lost the power of love, have fun. Because this fight just got a hell of a lot harder for you. And punch. Again. And punch. But yes, I recover and you punch me. Yep. Gideon is cheap. Cheap boss is cheap. my 10 guts to... doesn't even matter. Use my 10 guts to heal and I get knocked and punch off a cliff anyway. Thankfully, you get a second of invulnerability after you spawn, so you don't get punched off immediately. But you don't get full health. Ah, 240. That, that hurt you, didn't it? Stupid Gideon. He has so much health, too. I've probably dealt, like, about a thousand damage to him by now, and he's still not even flashing. Okay. Oh, more... More of the... Aha! Finally! God, it took almost took all that damage to get him to be getting critical. Imagine how much it's going to take to kill him. Thankfully, I have strafing walking. Walk strafing. And punch. I'm not gonna die twice against one form of Gideon. No. Oh no 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 no. You miss you 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 must under you must underestimate me. Yes, I know I said that wrong. I don't care. Okay, wait for him to fire his red skulls of doom, and then punch off a cliff again. God, you're such a, a critical hit. Stop. Ah, serves you right though. You cheating. So and so. Herg. Okay. Ha! I uppercut you and you die. Is that the last boss? I hope it is. Well, loading, that's always a good sign. Ugh, back in reality, apparently that wasn't the last boss. We have more to do. In the techno base. Well, I'm taking this wrench with me. And robot ones. How d the only the only boss to ever be to ever be demoted to a to to an enemy. And it took one level. They don't drop money. That sucks. Well, can't go through that door. Oh no, robot. I lost my wrench. And he blocks. Stop blocking. Just take my wrench to the face. There we go. Jerk. Okay, they don't drop money either. God, I hate this level. Give me Super Mario Bros. gets full of money. I'll take you instead. I'll use it to throw. I'll throw you at a robot. That's gonna block. 